To better understand the recent study from the University of Birmingham in the UK, let me acquaint you with two important terms, oxidative stress and inflammation. Oxidative stress is an imbalance between oxidants and antioxidants in the body. Having too many oxidants, like free radicals, can damage molecules and cells and induce illnesses if there are too few antioxidants to help offset their effects. That's why a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is so important to our health, since they provide us with lots of antioxidants. Inflammation is an important part of our immune response that helps induce healing, but can also signal that something's not quite right with our bodies. Signs of inflammation include swelling, pain, redness and increased temperature. Since oxidants alert molecules that cause inflammation, we always see oxidative stress and inflammation occurring together as part of the body's immune response. One common situation where inflammation and oxidative stress occur together is in surgery, where they can result in post-operative complications depending on the type of operation. Since wisdom tooth extraction is one of the most widely conducted surgical operations in the Western world, post-operative complications caused by oxidative stress and inflammation can include both reduced muscle function, which lessens the ability to open one's mouth following surgery, as well as pain. Researchers at the University of Birmingham hypothesized that people with lower levels of antioxidants in their bloodstreams will suffer more from post-surgical complications than people with greater levels of antioxidants, who should experience fewer or less severe complications. Since 13 different clinical studies have already confirmed that fruit and vegetable nutrition from Juice Plus can help and reduce markers of oxidative stress and inflammation, the Birmingham researchers wanted to analyze the effects of Juice Plus on an objective measure of post-operative complications from wisdom tooth surgery. These post-operative complications included reduced muscle function, as well as a subjective measure called quality of life, that is, how the patients felt overall after surgery. In this clinical trial, researchers evaluated 183 subjects between the ages of 18 and 65. The subjects took either four Juice Plus fruit and vegetable plant capsules or four placebo capsules every day for 10 weeks prior to wisdom tooth extraction as well as during the first week after surgery. The researchers then compared the ability of the subjects between these groups to relax their mouth muscles as measured by their ability to open their mouths wider and more easily. Next, they measured the difference in the participants' subjective perceptions of overall quality of life. And finally, they estimated pain perceptions between the Juice Plus group and the placebo group over the first week following surgery. What did they find out? They observed that participants taking Juice Plus had, on average, a much better ability to open their mouths two days after wisdom tooth extraction than those taking placebo. An indication that the antioxidants provided by Juice Plus helped reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. And they learned that participants' perceptions of quality of life after surgery, that is, how they were feeling, were better in the Juice Plus group compared to the placebo group. They also found that the average pain score over the entire post-operative week was significantly lower in the Juice Plus group than the placebo group. And they found that patients in the Juice Plus group were less likely to experience moderate to severe pain two days after surgery compared to the placebo group. As a result, the researchers concluded that pre-operative supplementation with Juice Plus can improve post-operative perceptions of quality of life, as well as reduce specific post-operative inflammation-induced complications after wisdom tooth surgery. Once again, gold standard clinical research shows that fruit and vegetable nutrition from Juice Plus can help reduce markers of inflammation and oxidative stress, this time in a post-surgical setting.